Welcome to this brief tutorial, Creating a New Application Blueprint in vFabric Application Director. An application blueprint is a logical topology of an application for deployment. A blueprint captures the structure of an application consisting of logical nodes, operating systems, their corresponding software, dependencies, actions, and default configuration properties. In this demonstration, we will create a new application blueprint for a basic three-tier application much like the sample Duke's Bank application you see here. For this demonstration, we will create a basic application consisting of web, middleware, database, and logical templates. Log in to Application Director as Application Administrator and select Manage Applications. Within the Application section, we see a number of existing applications. To create a new application, click the plus symbol. We are presented with a dialog box requesting the name and version of the new application with options to provide a description of both. Click OK. We are now taken to the application design window. The designer interface provides a choice of objects that we'll use to compose our three-tier application. These include logical templates, which are representations of VMs and OS configurations, application components, which we'll use to create our application instances or to create a database instance, and also application services, such as vFabric TC Server, MySQL Server, Apache, and so on. Our blueprint design starts with selecting logical templates with drag and drop placement in the designer window. Our three-tier application requires two VMs running CentOS 32-bit and one VM running 32-bit CentOS with MySQL pre-installed. At the application tier, we'll convert the one node to a three node cluster by selecting Convert Node to Array. With the required logical templates in place, we now select the required application services, which include the Apache Load Balancer and vFabric TC Server. These components are pre configured by our application experts with the required properties as well as installation, configure, and start scripts. Where needed, my application expert has provided the ability to modify the default properties. Here, I'll modify the default port used by the Apache Load Balancer. Sensitive default properties, such as administrative passwords, are concealed from view. With logical templates and application services in place, I will now add the required application components, including a Java WAR file to create our application services, and a SQL script to create a database instance. It's a good practice to save the design periodically. Application Director understands the required properties and actions as specified by our subject matter experts. With this, I'm assured of a successful application deployment. Here, Application Director is warning that specifying an installation script is required for database creation. With this warning, I will now configure the installation actions of the SQL component. With Application Director, we are able to leverage existing install scripts created by the database administrator. The final step in creating our three-tier application blueprint is to indicate application dependencies. This is done by selecting the Add Relationship option and click selecting the application target and source. These relationships are factored into the deployment plan and the deployment execution. With a successful save of the new application blueprint, my application is now ready for deployment. This concludes our tutorial, Creating an Application Blueprint in vFabric Application Director. Thank you for watching.